Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're not new to my channel, you might notice that my hair is pretty radically, in my opinion at least, different than it was in the last video. And if you are new to my channel, here's what my hair used to look like. As some of you might know, I have very thin hair, naturally very thin and fine hair. I do a lot of videos about confidence with thin hair and loving it since I feel like YouTube and the media has very little content and imagery about women with thin hair. And I know the feeling of feeling unconfident with thin hair. Now, I have gotten so many messages from you guys about going to the hairdresser with thin hair that it sometimes is quite an uncomfortable experience because you get comments, you get even nasty comments from your hairdressers about your thin hair or you feel like they just don't know what they're doing or they make faces, whatever, you know? I found that so surprising. I personally have never experienced that ever with a hairdresser, so I am so sorry if that's what you've gone through. It is so unprofessional from a hairdresser to do anything other than make you feel beautiful and wonderful. So if you have a hairdresser who does not do that for you, please run away and go find a new one. There are plenty of hairdressers in the world and you can find someone who will be kind to you, who will know what you're going through, who will be understanding and whatever, you know, a hairdresser should know that every single person has different hair and thin hair is not somehow weird or unusual. I did go to the hairdresser. I cut it much shorter and I also put in some highlights or it was called painting to make it a little bit more blonde and just give it a little bit more life. And in general, I am so happy with it. I have never gone through such a drastic change before. I asked the hairdresser to cut it a bit shorter than I might even usually ask. So it's pretty much is a bob rather than a lob and I was nervous but at the same time I did think that it could look quite nice and also I just wanted to give it some time to grow until it goes on my shoulders again which is the, by the time where I feel like my hair starts to look quite unhealthy and very thin from the ends especially. So in this video I wanted to give you some tips on what you guys should do or not do when you go to the hairdresser if you have thin and fine hair. So I hope this video can help any one of you guys out without any further ado. Let's go. So I was very happy with my hairdresser for the first time ever, by the way. He was very understanding, professional, and I felt like he knew what he was doing. And he was not sitting there or standing there and just doing whatever it is that I kind of maybe showed him or wanted or might have wanted, which I think is really important. He took the health of my hair, the health of my scalp very much into consideration, which I think is amazing. So that's something I feel like you wanna look for in a hairdresser. I also feel like you have to vibe with your hairdresser. Obviously that might take some trial and error, but don't just be happy with the first hairdresser you go to. If you don't vibe with them, if you don't feel like you can have a good conversation with them or be honest with them or you know feel like you could basically be friends on your free time, then maybe you should find another one. Because hair, as much as it is definitely not the most important thing in our life, it is still something that you wanna give to someone who you trust and who you feel like knows what they're doing, who you feel like knows you and your style and won't give you something that you won't feel comfortable with. So that's definitely my number one, absolute number one tip. Next thing is, I've already talked about this in my videos, is that going short with thin hair really works. I feel like if I look into the mirror right now, I don't see thin hair on me anymore. I feel like it looks healthy, it looks not thick necessarily, but it I wouldn't describe it as extremely thin. It just looks healthy and normal to me. And that's because basically as of here, my hair starts to just get very unhealthy. The ends start to get very crumbly and dry and basically dead, which is why it looks so thin as it perhaps did in my previous videos or with my, before my haircut. So going short really does work. Now, I know not every one of you is going to like this haircut that I have on myself and you probably couldn't imagine it on yourself either and I totally get that. For my whole entire life, I've only wanted to have long mermaid hair <laughs> and it still hurts a little bit to know that that might not happen, but who knows, it might still happen if I can maintain and grow my hair in a healthy manner. You never know. However, cutting it short for the first time, I think about two years ago, I really noticed how I also feel so confident and really like kick ass with my short hair as well, simply because 
it looks healthy. In my opinion, healthy hair really looks better and you feel more confident and secure in it than you would with hair that is so dead and damaged like mine was before. So my hair was very dead and damaged before my hairdresser. I was very, very well aware of that. I knew I was long due to go to the hairdresser. Um, I just didn't have time to, didn't really want to, and wasn't sure if I was ready for the change, to be quite honest. Uh, still wanting to see if it would grow, etc. However, now that I did it, I just feel so amazing with my healthy hair, hair that looks good and shiny and feels nice and just doesn't look thin anymore because it's just filled with healthy strands of hair. So. I think just keep that in mind and maybe be open for it. But again, I totally understand if it's not something you want. Again, thin hair is beautiful too, so you can also grow it long. But in my case, for example, my hair just wouldn't grow anymore past that one point because it was so dead and damaged as well. Don't go with layers, especially if your hair is as thin as mine is and even, even, if, it's a, and even if it's a little bit thicker. I would highly recommend not to go with layers. This is something I told my hairdresser as well and he completely agreed with me. He was like, no way, no way will I do layers. I, that will just look worse on you. And trust me, with experience, layers will not make your hair look thicker if you have thin hair as mine. In fact, in my experience, personally, the layers just made my hair look even thinner. So stay away from that. So if you have a hairdresser who for whatever reason in her or his professional opinion thinks that layers would look good on you, I would second guess that. Again, it just really depends on your hair. I'm sure a lot of people, women, girls, men, whatever, watching this video have thicker hair than I do. So it does depend on your hair and your personal experience. But I know for 100% sure that my hair looks a thousand times better, thicker and more voluminous and just healthier in general if I do not put layers on it. Plus it's way easier to style. I went a bit more blonde. Now I had searched some pictures on Pinterest towards the kind of blonde that I was thinking I could go to. I was even thinking about going a little bit more dramatic. At the same time, I know that I can't really or shouldn't go too blonde because the more blonde and white and silver you choose your color to be, the more it is going to burn damage and really not be healthy for your hair. Now, any kind of bleaching and blonding is in general not going to be good for your hair. So I know I did that now, but I really keep it to a very minimum of maximum two times a year that I would ever do that to my hair because too much is too much. And in fact, before this, there was it was two years since I had done any kind of coloring to my hair. Do not go platinum blonde. That is a rule. Please do not do that. If you have extremely thin hair as it is, it might be healthy. However, you don't want to be damaging any of your hair more than it is necessary. And bleach and platinum blonde will definitely do that. And on top of that, I always tell my hairdressers when I want color that I want it, but it is not allowed to touch my scalp. So I kind of ask for a semi balayage because I don't want any hair color, any chemicals to be touching my scalp to make sure that I maintain the health of my scalp. And that's for me is very important. And ever since doing that, it works really well for me. I feel like my scalp feels much better. I remember when I long ago went platinum blonde um, as a teenager because my hairdresser would just do anything I told them because I'm a paying customer. Those are the hairdressers you want to avoid. Um, it just burnt my scalp so much and that is not healthy for you. We all know that. Now, if you have extremely thick hair, you probably can't afford to do that because you have so much hair as it is that if you lose a couple, it's okay. But as thin haired people, we just don't want to be doing that for ourselves. I didn't want to go platinum, but I did show pictures where the hair color looked more platinum than I wanted to. So he was just making sure that that's not something that I want and that's something, and that's not something he would 
recommend it. In fact, he would highly not recommend that. So those were basically my tips for going to the hairdresser with thin hair. I really hope that any one of you guys can have an amazing experience at a hairdresser if you go there and not have those horrible experiences that I heard from some of you. I know some people also say that they simply don't go to the hairdresser because their hair is so thin that it seems like a waste of money to go to the hairdresser to cut it. Now, if you know how to cut your own hair, great, do it. I don't, I have tried, it is an absolute disaster. I let my aunt sometimes cut it, but even then she does a great job, but the hairdresser, in my opinion, does 100% a better job it is so much more exact I do feel like the result is way more professional and just a little bit more put together if I go to the hairdresser so I hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you did like it give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'm super excited to see you guys in my next one my mind <laughs>